So, Mike, you know, probably not uh, the best round considering how well you hit the ball, but, you know, obviously some good signs you were seeing in your game today. So you may get just assess your start for us and then uh, open up for some questions. Yeah, I mean, I, I played great today. Um, yeah, I couldn't ask to play much better. I, I obviously score very poorly for the way I played. So, um, you know, go go try to work on some things, putting, and, you know, tomorrow morning we'll get some nice greens and, and um, you know, hopefully get something to go in the hole. Yeah. Do you remember a round like that where you hit it so well and, and had the frustration of the putts that just quit going in? Oh, I'm sure I've had them. You know, it happens. It happens. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of frustrating to play. You know, I've been working hard on my, on my game, and putting hasn't really – I haven't even thought about working hard on it because I, I putt good and I couldn't make anything. So uh, that's okay. Tomorrow I'll get it going. Do you think – do you think you take something away from that, Mike, with the fact that you've been working, as you say, so hard on your driving, trying to get that down, that – that there's almost something positive when you can now focus it away from that and, and as yeah. you say, start working on some putting and thinking, well, you, you, from the eight or nine holes I watched, you drove the ball yeah. solidly. Like, yeah. I didn't see any issues there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I do take that away for sure, you know, to be able to, you know, not, not spend so much time on the, on the long game and spend more time on my short game and just going forward. And, um, yeah, I mean, uh, my wedge game felt good and uh, just um, – yeah, I, I, you know, it was a combo. Combo. I didn't quite get the speeds down. You know, speed wasn't quite there. And with the greens, you know, late in the day like this, you need to have the speed up so they're kind of, you know, running over those little indentations around the hole. And uh, my ball was kind of, you know, kind of dead speed around the hole. So it was, you know, kind of catching some things around the holes and not, not going. So, you know, like I said tomorrow, maybe the greens. There's a couple of guys who commented that maybe the greens, some of the greens were a little inconsistent in speeds. Did you get fooled at all anyway? Yeah, I mean, there were, there were a few out there, but... Um, uh, yeah, so there was there. What could the score have been? I mean, it was, it was straight, I, mean I, I saw four or five early on that could yeah, have been. Yeah, no, they, you know, it could have been, I could have easily been six, seven, eight under, who knows, yeah. you know, uh, you, you get rolling, you get, you have a good putting day, that's a, that's a 63, right? Yeah. That's, uh, you know, fairly easy because I was close to the whole lot, you know, yeah. especially early in the round, you know, eight footer on one and eight footer on two and pretty close on, you know, decent on three and close on four and five and, um, you know, just not. Can buy one you throw of your hands up in uh, in surprise in the one on 16. Five yeah, I mean, shoot, to just see it go in the middle it was just kind of a. <laughs> you see enough of a mess. You're just. Uh, I was just happy to see one go in. I mean, I made a four footer on number 10 for par, and that little five footer, and that was it. I mean, I didn't make anything over that. That was the two longest putts. I mean. So. Like uh, the way you're hitting the ball right now, is this the most confidence you felt in your game in a while? And do you have that confidence you can make a charge tomorrow morning? I feel like I can make a charge tomorrow morning. I mean, um, I you know. The last couple of months, I felt good with my game. Most days, you know, like like any golfer, you're gonna have your bad days too. But I go to the tee feeling confident, and, uh, and today was it was a nice day, ball striking wise, and um, you know, just a bit of a shame that I didn't uh, capitalize. But uh, tomorrow, like I said, you know, maybe the conditions are, are right for scoring. You know, a lot of the low scores I think were in the morning rounds, but not not a lot in the afternoon. So. And get one going tomorrow. Does it make it easier when you come to a course like this, or Riviera, or somewhere where you play frequently, where you don't have to think too much about the golf course itself? I mean, you know your lines and things. Yeah, it does. Yeah, definitely. You know, I stand stand on the tee. You kind of know, you know, the wind direction changing. You know, alters some of your targets a little bit. But um, for the most part, you kind of have a game plan, and you kind of can fall into a nice comfort level if you do start striking well. And that's what kind of happened today. I. I um, I felt good and confident, and, and as the day went on, just kind of get more and more, and you know, just a couple unfortunate. You know, I hit a beautiful tee shot on 17. I don't know how, I don't, I don't know what it hit, but um, and then I hit a really good bunker shot too. So, uh, just those things happen sometimes. Great. Thanks, guys. Right. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys.